Hi, it's Luna, aka your local cobbled. Hello! <laughs> so yeah, today we're going to be doing some... Uh, oh! Excuse me, wrong button. Oh shit. <laughs> That's not my camera button. This is my camera button. There we go. <laughs> and in opening. Yep. Hello, Buckhead. Hoi hoi. Congratulations on being first and thank you for your wisdom. So yeah, we're getting real close to like actually finishing this game. Like we only need a few more Chaos Emeralds in this area and then we're done. I think. Because like we're basically almost at like the final boss and stuff. I didn't realize we were so close to it. Uh, but yeah, like once we're done with this game, we'll definitely be coming back to this once they do the DLC for the extra story quests and stuff. I just, I don't know when that is. It's sometime this year, I think. Is it this year or next year? I can't remember. Uh, but yay! We gotta go get these heckin' Chaos Emeralds. And also apparently these things. I wonder why we get Amy memory tokens for this area and not like other ones. It is this year, yeah! Oh, hello there. Never mind, we're gonna get distracted with a boss. <laughs> Let's go murder this dude. Get roasted, dude. Oh, nope, they vanished. Oh, geez. That's a ninja. Um, that is definitely one of the ninjas of all times. That was the wrong one. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> wow. Uh, I wasn't expecting that dude to be that difficult. <laughs> I was like, you know, this will be easy. We'll just like quickly beat up this guy we just ran into. It's fine. No, he kicked my ass. Where is he? I want a rematch. He can fight me. Wait, I'm now in just like bullet time? What, what, what happened? What was that? That's definitely one of the abilities I can do. Um, I guess. I need to parry more. Oh, Rochi, hello, thank you for the follow. Oh, jeez. Is that, is that a lethal? That looks like it might be a lethal. I just got a... I'm dead. Okay, do we get anything good for that? Yes, we got another key. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this is just uh, lazy reuse of Amy's tokens or to comment on how like Amy's Amy Sage's priorities are based on love. I mean yeah, both of them have like their priorities based on love, that makes sense, but it might also just be lazy. <laughs> Cause it does kind of feel like we should be having like uh, sage tokens at this point, but it doesn't make sense that we'd be getting memory tokens of sage, because like, sage doesn't really have any memory to get at this point. They already know who they are, it's not like they have been corrupted. Why not both? It might be both. <laughs> There's absolutely no reason why it couldn't just be like, uh, uh, they're just like, hey, we, uh, we'll be lazy, so we're gonna do this, but we're gonna get like deep lore of meanings of rise we're being lazy, so it's not actually lazy. What is down here? What is this thing? Oh, it's one of these. Okay, yeah, I'll do this. Uh, oh. Yeah, we just gotta like fly through all these things. Okay, so we got these ones. This one's slightly more tricky than the other ones we've come across. Nothing too crazy, but these are a lot closer, uh, like between the uh, the changes in direction and a bit further away than we're used to. But overall, that's pretty easy. Okay, so that'll be a bit more map unlocked. Uh, how far can we see on the map now? <laughs> that's not a useful chunk of a map. It is definitely a chunk of a map, but it's not a useful chunk of a map. Uh. Oh, these are Sage Memory Tokens. Okay. Why are we getting Sage Memory Tokens? Hello, Monk! Hoi hoi! How are you doing? 
no. What the heck is that thing? Whatever it is, it's dead now. Um. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you're doing okay. Uh, let's go unlock some more map. I feel like we need just more map. We don't have enough map. Uh, grab some of these along the way. Oh, nope. I don't want to go up there. I want to get this thing. What is this thing? Oh, that was for the more map. Okay. <laughs> I was like, there's a weird glowy thing. I want to get this before we do the map thing. It was the map thing. <laughs> oh, and there's another map unlock up there. Okay. Uh, there's also what looks like an Elder Korok nearby. Yeah, it's over there. Or like a Sage Korok, whatever you call them. Boop. So, uh, they're in literally different directions. I want to get the more map first. We can come back for the uh, Sage uh, Korok later. They're not Koroks. I keep calling them Koroks. I'm so used to uh, Legend of Zelda's Koroks that I keep calling them that. They're uh, Cocos. That's it. <laughs> I know my Sonic characters. Damn it. <laughs> There's a little chow over here. Uh... Ew. There's a section of the music here that really reminds me of the soundtrack to the... Uh, magma caverns in Monster Sanctuary. It's like uh, the start of like some piano before it goes into the bass. Also, the bass section of that song is amazing. Like, I gush about that uh, the game soundtrack so much, but like the magma caverns bass line is the fattest bass I've ever heard in a video game. It's so good. Uh head over here, get some more map over here. What have we got over here? Uh, what challenges are we- oh, it's up there. Okay, that's fine. Wait, this is just deep enough for us to drown in. <laughs> Imagine drowning in a puddle the same height as you. Uh, what is this thing? There's a lot of these in the ground. Okay, we got some more of these. We need these, so that's useful. And we got some of this. Oh, what the heck has happened? Oh, okay. I will do a heckin' hydrate. Okay. Also, hello, 11P5. Enjoy your luck. Uh... Okay, I've done a hydrate. Okay, what's in this box? Just some rings. I mean, we could actually do with these. We are very low on rings. Uh, let's just quickly generate some more rings so we can have more, some more speed. You're late. You got distracted. Ah! <laughs> Hello to Z. Hoi hoi. How are you? I'm just cheesing some rings, don't mind me. Uh... Is that enough? But yeah, it's definitely enough. Okay, we got enough. Uh... I'm glad you're doing okay. Okay, what's this challenge? We have... Is it... Is it seriously reach for top of that thing? We were literally just there. Okay, I can do that. Oh, jeez. I could do it if I didn't... Oh, jeez, what is happening? Why am I so high? Okay. I just accidentally cheesed the entire challenge. There was nothing about that was intentional. That was 100% just accidental. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing okay. I uh, actually had like a really nice uh, like uh, day today. I went to go to a nice cafe with Badger and I had like the best heckin' hot cocoa. They made it with uh, oat milk so I could have it because like, like of course I'm lactose intolerant. And it was like uh, hazelnut uh, cocoa. It tasted like Nutella. It was so good. And it had marshmallows in it. But like the lady who did it, she accidentally overfilled my cup uh, because she forgot that I wanted marshmallows. And so she just gave me the marshmallows on the side, so I had like extra cocoa. 
Also, I got to read some more of this manga that I got uh, for Christmas. But, like, uh, a friend of mine got me, uh, was it Delicious Dungeon? And I've been reading through that. I just got to the, uh, oh heck. Just got to the, oh, was it the fourth chapter, I think? I haven't started it yet, but, like, I'm really enjoying it. Oh, we got another portal key. Okay. Uh... And here's a level we haven't done yet. And also this lady. Hello there. What are you doing? Looks like Tails was right. The ruins were tech the ancients used to upload thoughts into cyberspace, but not their bodies. Correct. They desired to archive all their achievements, creations, and knowledge. If they oh. couldn't pass it between their own people, they could pass it on to those who inherited this world from them. This way, they could pass on not only technical knowledge, but their cognizance and intentions as well. So, it's basically a big old backup hard drive for everything about them. That's pretty amazing. I mean, it's a bit more than a backup hard drive. They literally uploaded themselves into cyberspace. Like, they exist in cyberspace and not the physical realm anymore. They've essentially made themselves immortal. But they seem to be stuck in some kind of, like, loop where they're constantly, like, reliving stuff that they did in the past. I don't know, I feel kind of bad for the ancients. Like, basically getting chased down by a, a horrible, like, uh, space horror that devours planets uh, and then having, like, the best solution to that being just trap yourself in cyberspace with it. <laughs> Heckin' rough. wonder if this will be, like, a nice 2D stage, because we haven't had a 2D stage in, like, Ages? All of the levels we had are 3D. Not that I'm complaining, 3D stages are amazing, but like, there's been very little 2D stages uh, in this area. Also, it keeps dragging my mouse back onto the screen. <laughs> nah, it's another 3D one. Okay, what have we got here? Oh. Seems pretty good. There's a lot of rails. I can get behind the stage. Uh... Oh. Music's really good as well. Oh, I have to say, it's not my favourite uh, music in this game so far, but like, nah, I do like this music. Oh! Going faster this stage is going to be a bit of a challenge though, so an S rank might be tricky, but I'ma try it. Also, I noticed that there was, uh, like, black-coloured uh, Eggman robots, whereas beforehand we only had, like, the red ones. What about these ones are a different colour? Oh. Okay, where are we off to now? Over there. Okay. That's going to be really tricky to do a fast uh, pace thing through. Oh, uh, we've missed one of the rings. That was the main focus for getting through here, was like scouting for the speedrun strats and also getting the rings and we missed one of them. That's fine. Uh... I'm trying to think what this stage reminds me of. Like... I'm getting like Sonic Heroes vibes from it, but nothing about it feels like Sonic Heroes. No more Mermuna? <laughs> Merluna will be returning at some point. Like, I've disabled my other, my old model redeems. They will be coming back eventually. I'm just like sticking with uh, my new model for a bit because it's new, it's fun, nice. I've worked really hard on it and I just want to like use it for a while. <laughs> but like, don't worry, like, the old ones will be coming back as like retro redeems at some point. Oh, geez. Okay, let's try the stage again. <laughs> yeah, I'm also considering doing a uh, a modern Merluna. 
I've been discussing it with uh, Rumi and Tori about like the possible design ideas and stuff. Nope. I'm I can't jump off those early. Uh, also, the uh... oh geez, <laughs> the sound effects for the uh, like the zip pliny things when they go downwards gives me like there's like memories of like the sound effects from Sonic Adventure 2. It kind of sounds like the stuff in like the space areas. Also, I see the red ring. It's over here. Got it. Oh, there was spikes on that wall. That was kind of dangerous. <laughs> T-shirt made of kelp. I kind of hate that. <laughs> like, on one hand, I'm just like, that could be really cool. On the other hand, I'm just like, <laughs> it could seem to be like a nice design just happening to made out of kelp, or literally just kelp plastered to my body. I messed up. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we're just out to the red ring at this point. Uh, or actually, you know what? No. We're going for S rank and the red ring. <laughs> Hello, Iliatan. Hoi hoi! You're a V4 Lunar Enjoyer. <laughs> it's fair. A lot of people like the V4 one, but uh, I don't know. I really like the V4 one as well, but it never quite felt right. Like, it felt more me than uh, the V1 Lunar, definitely. But like, I don't know. <laughs> I've always kind of wanted to go with something like less cartoony proportioned and more like human-y proportioned, so I could do like nice clothes and stuff easier, because Lunar V4 is a heckin' nightmare to be close for. Those hips are ridiculous. And also, uh, she's got like these plates and stuff on her body, which make it really difficult to make clothes around because I, I need to like account for like jutting out parts here and there. Oh, nope. that's the wrong way. I need to go this way. Okay, so now we're on this section. This section is just like really awkward. Kind of kills the flow of this level, in my opinion. I'm not really too fond of that section. Oh. Really wish I could jump off and cancel this, because I can see exactly where I'm supposed to go, and I, it looks like I should be able to, but I can't. Also, we need to kill those enemies before we get to that ring. Okay, so that's how you summon a ring. So I don't think we've got an S rank. Yeah, no, that was a C. But I think I can do that. We only have to shave off 11 seconds. It's not actually that much. Let's try this. I think I got this. Oh. I need to also find maybe a faster route through, but... Actually, I see a much faster route through. If there's not a kill plane here, I think I've got this. Like skip all of that and just go down here. I'm pretty sure it's faster than taking the uh, the what they call the homing attack area and then going down the thing. I don't think there's any way to skip that, but that's fine. Oh, I'm heckin' loving Sonic Frontiers. This is like uh, if it. Like, I'm really, like, uh, split between this game. It, I almost love this game more than I love Sonic Adventure 2, and that's saying something. I love Sonic Adventure 2. But, I don't know, there's, like, a couple bits here and there where I'm just like, now nah, I, I prefer Sonic Adventure 2, and there's other things where I'm just like, I prefer the physics of this game, some of the flow and, like, mechanics, my movement feel a lot more fun, but, I don't know, I prefer Sonic Adventure 2's story and music and a bunch of other stuff. Also, heck, I've completely messed up. We're not getting an S rank. Let's try that again. <laughs> like, the levels, I think, are the part where this game really shines. I like the open world aspect, but I really think that the uh, these levels are actually where this game like uh, does its best. Uh, which is weird to say, they like they really focus on making an open world uh, game. And the open world aspects are really fun. I honestly think that uh, this just feels a lot more fun than the open world areas. Oh, gonna ignore those guys. Oh, heck. <laughs> that does not feel like it's gonna be very fast. 
That wasn't very fast of you. <laughs> oh no. I keep missing that ring. I really think we need to hit that ring on the way through to be able to get the S rank. Nope. Uh, excuse me a second. Okay, so I basically need to instantly... Oh jeez. What the heck happened there? I lost like all of my momentum falling down. <laughs> yeah, we really need to go through there. Uh, so skip all of this. I wonder if the down route there might even be faster. I might try back the next one at a time if uh, this isn't the S rank. Let's see if like going down would be faster. Because I wonder if it skips this section. If it does, that's definitely faster. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely the best Sonic game I've made since... Uh... Oh, that's the last good Sonic game. Oh, jeez, okay. I need to be more careful there. It's like Sonic Adventure 2. I joke that this game was the last good Sonic game since Sonic Adventure 2. But at the same time, I'm not exactly wrong. Because, like, Sonic Adventure 2, uh, in my opinion, was the last good 3D Sonic game uh, before this one. This is a really good 3D Sonic game, though. Okay, this is definitely not faster. Having to get through that is a lot slower. And it just drops you off here. Yeah, okay. And jumping over that's going to be awkward. Okay. I think I've got a route uh, planned out now for the start of this level at least. So we skip this. Go over here. Trail. Oh. What the heck happened there? Okay. That's fine. Uh, I think we still got this. It's really weird how it sometimes decides that you can or can't uh, use the, the, the boost. What the heck? I didn't even know that spike wall was there. That spike floor was there. We've been jumping over it this whole time. I completely missed it. Too early. <laughs> it's going to be tricky. There we go. Got it. Okay. managed to perfectly do that. I've been trying to do that this whole, whole time I've been able to like skip that section and just like dash over it. Right. Uh, uh, kidding. No. Ugh. There's a bouncer there that sends you in the other direction. <laughs> I might just say heck it and just go for the 100 coins or 100 rings, sorry. Like, this is difficult. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I have a theory. I think I have a theory of how to do this, uh, this first section a lot faster. If not doing that, uh, that messes up. <laughs> if we... Nah, I need to spring for this. Okay, if we take this first spring, I think I can skip this whole like, section and just like jump over it. No, don't... I didn't even press anything there, it forces you to homing attack. Okay, if I can not homing attack onto the uh, hornets here and just avoid this, can I? Yes, okay, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely faster. Not by much, but it is faster. Perfect. Yeah, okay, I think we got this now. I just need to get that ring. And let's get to a decent portion of the level. Let's not swing on that thing because those things are slow as heck. Okay, and now we're on this last section and we've got like 20 seconds to do this. We just gotta kill three dudes and that's it. Done. Okay, that's S rank. <laughs> First try. 
and 100 rings on this is going to be super easy. We've got 91 without even trying. If we do that, we'll have enough keys to be able to get the next uh, Chaos Emerald. So I'm just going to quickly do this. It should take one at all. All we got to do is be careful and not take damage. Uh, so we just take this nice and like smoothly. No need to rush super hard. I think there's, yeah, there's more coins, not coins, rings down here. So we... There's the next section. Yeah, okay, so here's some more. Get rid of that dude. So we just need to find 35 more and then just get to the end of a level. That's super easy. So where is that like perfect uh the perfect skip on that uh swing thing the last time when I did this? I could have like shaved off an entire like 0.2 of a second by doing that. <laughs> okay, so we No 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 no, I just realized we need six more rings before we go through there. Where are we gonna find these uh oh wound snack? What have we got here? Oh, a diamond! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> it's heckin' crunchy! <laughs> uh, where are we going to find- oh jeez! Oh no! Okay, we're safe. It's fine. Where the heck are we going to find, uh, five rings? Luna is collecting chaos! <laughs> Dare I comment on this? <laughs> I'm gonna eat the Chaos Emeralds and no one can stop me! <laughs> uh... Where the heck is the last five rings on this stage? There's an invisible wall here. I straight up can't go back. We're stuck here. Okay, we need to find five rings here. And there's nowhere else we can go to find them. Um, Where are they? Where's that damn four Chaos Emerald? Uh, we might be screwed. I think we just straight up can't get the uh, 100 rings that are required. I didn't expect it to be this difficult. Maybe... No, there's none up here. Hopefully there is some like right before you get to the, uh, the enemies here. But are we seriously just going to finish this with five rings short? Yeah, we are. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that is awful. Clear with 100 rings and we got 95. Which means that when we did our speed run of this level, we almost got every single ring on the stage because I think there might actually just be 100. I think that might actually just be the case. Okay, so we definitely got all the ones here, right? Yeah, okay, so there's no more on this rail. Uh, any from this? None on that rail. Is there any up here? Because we can swap to the lower section after. There was five there. Wait, is that seriously the five we need? Or... Because there's like other rings here? That might actually be it. We might need every single ring on the stage. That is painful. There's some here. Oh, and there's this ten ring here we missed before. Okay, that's it. If we get this, we're done. Yep, okay, that should be enough. Nope, 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 nope. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Ignore that. It's fine. Okay, if we go through the faster route that I found earlier. Uh, we should be able to get enough if I just like pay attention to getting as many uh, rings as possible. So yeah, we need to go up the upper route. The, the lower route has technically more rings, but... Eh? I think? 
I wonder. Is there a way to like go back to the other route now? What happened there? I homing attacked. And it... Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> People ask you if you're fine, you have to say you are fine, even when you are fine. <laughs> right, so we're now here. So if I switch up to here, that should now be enough, hopefully. I could go back for more. Hello, Anarchid Doctor! Yee! I got this new model uh, over Christmas and I've been working on it for a while. Uh, we debuted it on Friday. Oh. Oh heck. Can I get up here please? 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I nearly killed myself. Um, you know what? We're just gonna go the safe route. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna use the springs. Wait, that's the point. Is it possible to... It is! You could just ignore that. But did I miss any rings by doing that? That's the question, because if we did if we did miss some rings, that's painful. You know what? We're going to stop doing like risky stuff for no reason. We're going to actually just like do this safe. There was no ring here in the first place. There was no reason. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, there was no rings here, so there's no point to go up there. We do have enough rings though, I just realised. We don't need to get more. We just need to get, like, down here, kill three enemies, don't take damage, and we're good. That's it. Okay, we got all of it. I missed your debut, but I think I saw it with a stream schedule on your offline screen. Yeah, uh, I got it on uh, this thing. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot to update that. My schedule or my uh, my AFK or the render screen is supposed to have my uh, new model on it, not blacked out. I forgot to change it. Wait, no, I definitely did change that. Why is it? I'll fix it later, it's fine. But like, <laughs> your fault. <laughs> uh, so like, I like specifically I uh, had it as like a blacked out version so it didn't spoil it before we went onto the new model. Uh, and for some reason it's like loaded the wrong schedule up as like the uh, schedule thing, which means it's also got the wrong games on it and stuff. <laughs> All of the like text on it is incorrect and I didn't notice. <laughs> but yee, that's another eight keys, I think, or is it nine? We get four keys plus three. Seven. Okay, I was wrong both times. It's seven keys. <laughs> okay. Oh! Dargan Master! Hello! Thank you for the follow! Yep, yep! Uh, let's go get that heckin' Chaos Emerald. Oh! I'll take those. Thank you very much. New hello. Like I think <laughs> I was just thinking about this, like because um, you were uh, saying before the bunny cupcake about like uh, how am I enjoying this game? I think that the the one thing this game is missing is a chow garden. If it had that, I would like like this game a lot more. <laughs> also, heck, this is a puzzle. I have to use my brain. No! <laughs> How dare! Yeah, I've done this wrong. Uh, let's try just putting everything on and see if it does it anyway. <laughs> oh, you can't do both at the same time. Interesting. Yeah, this is like super incorrect. Shao God would have been amazing this game. Yeah! Like, Sonic Adventure 2 is definitely my favourite Sonic game, and this one is a very close second. Like, it, I love the lore and stuff, but I feel like the plot is a little bit... 
I kind of wish that the story was told more through like cutscenes in between levels rather than- like, I love the open world concept, but... Silip is a mangled mess, it'll put them back. Yeah, like, I like Silip as an idea, but it is really buggy and <laughs> not super good. Uh, which one do we need next? I think we need this one next. And then we do... Yeah, so blue one next. I think. No, not blue one next. No, next one's this one? Is it? Hold up, I need to like... I need to use all two of my brain cells real hard a second. Give me a second, I like need to like do this. You only play Sonic 2 for the Chow Garden, that's a heckin' mood. That was me for like most of my childhood. I had like thousands of hours in Sonic Adventure 2, mostly just in a Chow Garden because I was like too scared to be able to finish the game properly. You know that one uh, level where you're in like the uh, the pyramids? And you got the giant ghost boss and you're playing as Knuckles? Gave me nightmares for weeks. That <laughs> terrified the heck out of me. I, it took me years to build up the courage to be able to do that level. <laughs> and even then I was still intimidated. <laughs> but yeah, what did we just unlock on the map? Uh, so there's the Red Chaos Emerald. Uh, so yeah, we're going this way, okay. Uh, that way. Completed F that level to hell, yeah. <laughs> like legit, I hate that part of the game. Like, <laughs> I love like almost everything about Sonic Adventure 2, except for that boss. That boss is just, I love it in theory because the mechanics and stuff are really fun. But as a kid, it just, it like scared the shit out of me and just fucked me up for ages. <laughs> I have a feeling that this won't get us to the other island, and we're going the wrong way. Uh, just a theory. Save tokens, yeah. How many do we need? I need one more, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, yeah, if we're here we might as well do this. It's like, no, I can't. You, are not ready. you have no maidens. <laughs> oh, that looks like a thing. Uh, I wonder how the devs would explain multiplayer if this game had it. Honestly, I could see this game getting multiplayer. It's like, it probably wouldn't get like multiplayer, multiplayer of like co op or something. I could see them having like Sonic Adventure 2's like battle mode, where like specifically the Sonic vs. Shadow stages. So you get like uh, multiple people playing as Sonic or maybe as the other characters. And you all. Uh, are like trying to uh, like get to the end as fast as possible. <laughs> you have no pylons. You must construct additional pylons. <laughs> what do I get for killing that? Uh, not what I was looking for. I need like one Amy token. Can I get one by just doing this? Can I please have like a singular Amy token by just like numing in a circle? That'd be real heckin' cool. No? Whenever I don't need them, I get them by the, the heck ton. But whenever I do need them, it's just like, nah, I go find them elsewhere. Is my Samey tokens? Nope. Wait, I recognize this place. We were here before. Spawn more overlords. I like Sonic with city snowboarding. Yes! Follow me. Set me free. <laughs> Trust me and we will escape from the city. <laughs> like definitely Sonic peaked when we were uh, fighting <laughs> against Gun using the heckin' snowboards. I still have no idea how to fight this thing. We need to level up our defense and stuff. We're like really squishy. <laughs> our defense is way too low to fight that crab. I really like the fight against the crab but I'm too squishy. A lot of games do that, give you healing items and spades when you don't need them, but none are in the site when you do need them, yeah. Just don't get hit. <laughs> and it's true, you don't need any defense or any health at all, you need one hit point to finish the game. I believe you can proceed once you find a way to activate the starting device and power oh. the statue. Okay. Sure would have been smoother sailing if we'd been working together from the start, but... Well, I guess I had to earn your trust first, huh? Uh. <sighs> 
Do you know how to activate the starting device? I've figured out everything else up until now, haven't I? Don't sweat it. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's unlocked. That's that's a good start. I'm sure we can do this now. And yeah, she's helping us now. Uh, basically, uh, she started like trusting us more because she was watching like, oh, like you actually just like f persevere despite like uh, the completely like shit odds and like having like horrible stuff happening, and just keep trying your best for like your friends and like your full motives are, like completely pure and stuff. And so she basically just begged Eggman to allow her to help it, uh, help us. <laughs> And Eggman begrudgingly accepted. <laughs> oh, jeez. Also, I love these sections. They're so silly. <laughs> That's the best part. Oh, jeez. We might be in danger. Nope, we're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Sonic is super stubborn. Yeah. But like legit, Sage is just adorable. I love Sage. Oh geez. Okay. I just accidentally cleared an entire wave. It seems like if I like fire both types at the same time, I can destroy bullets and deal damage at the same time. Luna had a similar mod. <laughs> uh, someone modded the game where you play as Shadow and Amy asks Shadow, how are you here? <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I have a mod where you can play as uh, Rogue the Bat as well. Uh, I've also got one where you can play as Kaloa. <laughs> In ancient civilizations and their weird sci fi pyramid texts. Oh, we haven't seen this in ages. You like Big the Cat? He's chill, yeah. Big's entire presence in this game is I'm just here to do some fishing. <laughs> How did you get here, Big? I've been here for years. <laughs> you can borrow my fishing rod if you want. It's like, no, Big. The world is in danger. The Everything's going clear. to shit. How are you not in cyberspace? Emerald with expediency. You got it, Sage. <laughs> We've run into each other so many times, but I only recently learned your name. You could have told me sooner, you know. We were enemies. Furthermore, my name holds no meaning. Huh? Sure it does. Eggman named you that for a reason. That means you're important to him. You think he cares about me? Yeah. Sure. In his own way. Hey, time's a wasting. Let's wrap this up. Big is definitely stronger than Sonic. The question is, is Big stronger than Knuckles? Who would win in like just a pure like brawn fight? Like if Knuckles and uh Big the Cat got into an arm wrestle, who would win? Because I'm thinking it might be Knuckles. But then again, I think Big might actually have like the weight advantage on him. Because Knuckles is strong for his weight, but Knuckles is actually really skinny. You might not intentionally fight, but I have no problem believing that none of the robots could grab him. <laughs> yeah. But like, as we've seen in uh, Sonic Heroes, uh, Big the Cat definitely knows how to use his weight to his advantage. So he can definitely, uh, like, use that as a strength. So... Yeah, look at what Big can do with Sonic Heroes and speed runs. Oh, jeez, yeah. I've seen some of that. Like, Big is just so buggy with, like, the belly flop and stuff. Boop. I'll take these. We need a bunch of these. Okay, so... Uh, Big, because he did destroy the robot version of Knuckles. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you also have a point there beforehand. Like, Big wouldn't intentionally fight any of his friends. But, I'd, like, if it was a contest where it wasn't intentionally hurting other people, I think Big might, uh, like, attempt to do something. 
So like, as I said, as, I, as like an example, like an arm wrestle, I think Big the Cat would win an arm wrestle against Knuckles. Like, just straight up. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Hello, friends. You're my friend now. We're getting soft tacos later. <laughs> There's a bunch of chow hidden on this place. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Oh. Okay, so we're almost at this Chaos Emerald. The heck is happening here? What was the point of that spring? <laughs> it just drops us back down here. Oh, we somehow broke this thing. Oh, it dropped a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, due to chaos error, has anyone ever seen Bailing Route from Viva the Dirt League? I have a fear big is like that. A really big uh, that fishing rod could deal some damage if you really wanted to use it as a weapon. Absolutely. Hold up, I have a really stupid thing here. <laughs> what take? <laughs> Big the cat is from the Lucis Kalim line. <laughs> That's why he does fishing. He's secretly also got like really powerful magics, but he just doesn't use them. Big as a monk! Ah, oh, I might need to do that in the future. Like, if I do, like, a Pugilist character at some point in the future, I would absolutely just make, like, a really, like, a uh, chubby cat man. <laughs> just have them be, like, proficient in fishing and just run around, like, uh, with their frog familiar. <laughs> How long do you think it would take from the, the other players to realise what I was doing? Let's get this map. Oh. And one over here. Which also happens to be inside of this thing. Bonk. <laughs> I can't get this image out of my head. I'm just like, big the cat. Like, no, Kung Fu Panda, but it's big the cat. So you just have like the big the cat wearing like a big uh, straw hat and just running around doing kung fu with a fishing rod. <laughs> Tell me that's not like the best thing. I wonder if they use the same voice actor for Sonic here as they did for previous Sonic games. Yeah, uh, Sonic's voice actor here is the same one from Sonic Boom and I think Sonic Colors are some of the other more uh, modern Sonic games. Uh, the reason why he sounds different is because uh, the Sonic voice actor currently is also uh, playing a character from something called like Apex Legends, uh, like that shooter game. Was it Balaran? One of those games. Anyway, uh, he's basically stuck in that voice and is struggling to get out of that voice and is also going to be retiring as Sonic's voice actor after this game. Oh jeez. How do I... How do I? Um, <laughs> just in general, how do I? Oh jeez, getting up there is going to be difficult. Uh, you say that because he also voiced SEO Auditor from the uh, Assassin's Creed series. I had no idea about that. I never knew that. That's cool. What the heck happened there? Okay, let's do some damage. Okay, uh, that was almost a kill, but I messed up the last combo. Um, can I possibly... Nope, it's gonna go over, okay.
Oh, heck. That wasn't what I was intending there, but sure. There we go. Okay, that was difficult. <laughs> they didn't really do much to change the pillar fight, but what they did change made that so much more of a challenge. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, you get to a point where... You get a point there. I watch a Arkley Sonic comic where uh, uh, Sonic and Tails and uh, them lost their memory a little, and there's a robot Silver, and he tries uh, attacking Big's friends, and he didn't. He say, "Don't hurt my friends," and he uh, stops the robot's uh, Silver spin dash. What you mean, like straight up, just like pull a hand like out, just like hold up, my hand tracker's not working. Just shove a hand out, but just like robot Silver just like smacks him, just holding his him there like a. Uh, uh, who else does that? Knuckles! <laughs> I was trying to think, like, who else does that? I was like, oh, it's Knuckles in the second Sonic movie. Does he do that? Because <laughs> that's, like, badass. <laughs> uh... Uh, what is over here? What is so good about this 2D section I'm being put, brought on? Doesn't seem to be much here. I think I'm just going to jump over it. Alright, uh, where are we going next? We need vault keys from portals. Where's a portal we haven't done yet? Uh, so we haven't finished. We don't actually have any portals on the map yet. Let's get some more... Uh, what are they called? Uh, <laughs> heck, my brain just died on me a second there. Sorry about that. Let's get some more uh, map sections unlocked. I'm going to head over to this guy and also, like, unlock some stuff. Boop. Okay. Uh, like, but more of a side of a silver robot and uh, sumo toss him out of space. <laughs> Like, yeah, Big the Cat is heckin' powerful. <laughs> also, Big the Cat can canonically survive in the vacuum of space. We've seen this in Sonic Adventure 2. He's just, like, in the background, outside of a space station, just waving at you. <laughs> the only other time we ever see a character in a Sonic series survive the vacuum of space is, like, Sonic and a couple of the other characters going, like, near the arc when they're technically still in arc atmosphere. Okay, I need to get that way. How do I get up over here? Can I just... I wonder. Can I... No. Interesting. I thought I could just, like, jump up here, but I guess it's not going to work. Uh, with Froggy on his head. <laughs> uh, why wasn't Big the Cat in Sun... Uh, that's like, uh... Super Smash Bros. Like, in that case, like, why weren't any of the other Sonic characters in Super Smash Bros? Like, they could have added them as Echo Fighters. Like, just give us, like, Tails, Shadow, Amy, uh, Knuckles, and Rogue. Maybe a Chow or something like that, just to have them as, like, Echo Fighters of Sonic. <laughs> it would have worked perfectly fine. Right, we need to cross over that bridge. Oh, hello there! Master Ninja! Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh jeez, the combat in this game feels good sometimes. <laughs> like, sometimes you just get like a combo of it, it's just like, oh wow, that was heckin' cool. Uh... Okay. What the heck is happening? Oh! Oh no. Bonk. Nope, that's gonna deal damage to me, isn't it? Yep. Okay, we're screwed. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this boss is going to be difficult. I will try to take it down, though. I think, like, I can do this, but 
Blow it away with uh, silent points guarding. Okay, I'll remember that. Uh, where are you? There you are. It just looks so badass when it's just walking around at a distance, though. This thing's really cool. Ah, that laser is painful. It just comes out of nowhere. I mean, I'm not really sure exactly what to do here. Oh geez, I can't collect those rings. Okay, I'm ready for you. What are you doing? Oh, that was the guard. I was supposed to have done this on the guard. Okay. Gotcha! Okay, so if I knock it in the air one more time, we should have this. Bonk! Perfect! I only got one uh, hit on me and, like, it was fine. <laughs> but yeah, as you said before, the winning move is not to get hit. If you don't take damage, you're not going to take damage. <laughs> Another uh, sage token, I'll take that. I'm gonna build up some more rings here just so we got like some kind of buffer. Okay, that should be good enough. Uh... Right, so we still need to get over to there so we can go and get some more uh, defense and stuff because like I've got a bunch of seeds and I do really want to level up my defense, not gonna lie. As much as I might not need it, I want it. Um, I really want it. <laughs> yeah, just don't get hit by a pet. <laughs> God, didn't you know if you don't get hit but you don't need defense? <laughs> Hello, Caterpillar. Goodbye, Caterpillar. Oh, no, you don't. I guess we're fighting the Caterpillar. I don't get a choice in this matter. We are fighting the Caterpillar. Oh, I missed. Okay. And we just got these ones. Okay, and last one's above it. Okay. There we go. Okay, disabled. Except not entirely because it's still going to try to laser me. I remember this section. This section's painful. Yeah, this. It does like a uh, All Mother style, like, uh, Dragonator thing, but like without the Dragonators. Oh no. Oh geez. Could we not shoot a bunch of laser beams everywhere, please? C please, I want to live. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're back to this section. That's fine. I've half killed it already. I've definitely gotten better at this boss fight since the last time I did it. Okay. It tried to hammer of Dawn the absolutely did. <laughs> ah heck, I haven't played uh, Dawn of War in like ages. Not Dawn of War, Gears of War, sorry, other one. <laughs> dead! And I got an achievement, Threats Identified. What was this achievement for? What did I do to get this? Defeat all guardian types. Oh! Wait, but I never kill a crab. 
Or did I? I don't remember killing the crab enemy. But yeah, we've killed one of every single enemy type in the game now. Well, except for course like the bosses and stuff, but like, yeah. It got forcibly numed. I was expecting some loot, but it was actually, uh... <laughs> you thought it was loot, but it was me! Speed boost! <laughs> okay, where's this, uh, dude I was looking for? Uh, you're right over here, okay. Hey there. Oh, wait, this isn't the right one. I thought this was the guy who gives you, uh, like, stuff for seeds, but no, it's, uh, the guy who gives you, st uh, stuff for chow. So I guess we're getting faster. You thought it was loot, but it was me, Dio! <laughs> Okay, so why else was I here? Map section. We wanted this map. Here, God, Dawn, and any other kind of war games. Age of War? Um, what other ones are there? There's a, there's a lot of them out there. This thing looks like a weird llama. Um, okay, so we want the darker one first. This one goes down first. The leggy goes first. Solid like the Hedgehog 3 is going to have Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh! Yeah, my posture's terrible, thanks. I'm. Ah, my leg. Oh! I was sat on my ankle and wasn't realizing it. Pro tip don't do that. Oh! <laughs> Ow! Thank you for the redeem. Nope, that's just gonna hurt for the rest of the stream, I guess. Let's just push through this. <laughs> Yeah, something the Hedgehog 3. I thought you were talking about the uh, the video game. I was like, oh, something the Hedgehog 3 already came out. It, it has knuckles in it. I was like, oh wait, you mean the movie? Yeah, apparently there's like an Easter egg at the end of Sonic Adventure 2 where they show off that Shadow's going to be in the next movie. I still haven't seen Sonic the Hedgehog 2, though. I really love the first movie and I want to watch the second one. I just haven't got around to it yet. Oh, there's a level here we haven't finished. Uh, there's a fishing mini game. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Big, I'm coming for you. Oh, right after I click these chow, I'm gonna heckin' do so much fishing. Let's skip this cutscene, we've seen it enough times. You'll love the second one, I'm sure. Like, the second one from what I've seen, like, introduces actual Eggman, because, like, uh... Dr. Robotnik like loses his mind slightly on the mushroom planet. Don't try to walk while your foot is asleep. You end up tearing the tendons in your ankle. Yeah. You like, <laughs> like my foot isn't asleep. What was happening was, so I have like really loose joints. Uh, so uh, I was sat on the joint of my ankle and it was like slightly pushing out. Uh, I'm not going to go further into details as not to gross you out, but it really hurts. <laughs> I just need to like leave it for a second to sort itself out. But like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, my joints hate me. Like, all of my joints are just terrible. <laughs> I've got, like, the joints of, like, a 70-year-old, and I'm only, like, 20. <laughs> Roll it a bit. Yeah, I have been. I've literally just been sat here, just, like, wiggling it slightly, trying to get it to just, like, sort itself out. <laughs> I love being grossed out by what I like the most. <laughs> are you talking about cobbles? This, the VTuber. Feet. Joint pain? What, what, what thing are you talking about here? Hold up. <laughs> Hold the heck up. What do you mean? <laughs> you're nearing 30 and your knees feel a heck of a lot older. That's a mood. Like, I've had problems with my joints since I was like... Probably about like 13 or 14 years old, like somewhere around there. I just started having like really bad like joint issues one after the other. And everyone's like, oh, it's just because you're lazy. Oh, it's, you're not exercising and stuff and stuff. Exercising makes it worse. <laughs> like, I'll admit, gentle exercise does improve it a little bit. Like I do uh, skating, for example. Like I've uh, got a longboard. I do like uh, uh, skateboarding and stuff. That kind of exercise is actually really good on my uh, knees and joints because it's like the vibrations and like wiggling, like balancing and stuff 
that really helps my hips and my knees. However, like the exercise that people say, like, oh, intense running and like lifting and stuff like that, always like stretching exercises. Stretching exercises have to be really careful with because hypermobility means that if you stretch for more mobility, it makes you more mobile, which means that you cause it more pain. <laughs> Like, strength building is one thing, because you got like more strength to stop your joints from being able to stretch more. But like, ah! <laughs> when you were young, you dislocated your shoulder, and now you can dislocate both your shoulders. I had to dislocate my shoulder as well, except it didn't pop out properly. I spent like the next like couple years just having like really bad pain in that shoulder, and I couldn't have my bag on that shoulder, so I was always having my uh, backpack on one shoulder all the way through school. Uh, <laughs> and it's, it's better now, but like, now it like, pops out if I sleep on it wrong. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> also, what the hell, Sonic? You just fished up an entire like 4x4 four four uh, like uh, tire or like... Is that like a semi-truck uh, uh, tire or something? Like, what the heck did you just get out of there? <laughs> Ow! Oh, Oh, it's adorable! I love isopods. Like, isopods are definitely one of the sea creatures of all time. I, I love them Would so you much. Like to try? I'll let Avestia Kupo, hand over your ramen emo man. <laughs> 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 I mean... I was gonna say I don't have any rum, but I actually think I do have a can of Captain Morgan's. You're not having it though, that's mine. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay, let's get some Chaos Vault keys. I'll grab some defense seeds. Get like 40 of those. Uh, let's also grab some egg memos. And then I'll finish off with some sage tokens. There we go. Would you like to try? I'll let let's you return to the island. There's also an oil pond where you can fish up robo fishies. Oh! Near Automata, yeah! Like, it's weird how many, like, uh, really good RPG games have, like, random really good fishing games slapped onto them. Like, Final Fantasy XV, Near Automata, uh, Dark Cloud, this game. There's a lot of them. When you was in 20 in college and got infected, your left leg. You need to go in the hospital for three to two hours. Oof. <laughs> I've never had an infection that bad before, I can like uh, gladly say, but like I know people who have, and it's like it's the worst thing. <laughs> like, uh like the medication you have to go on for like severe uh, infections just it sounds terrible. <laughs> like I know it's like really helpful, but like it does not make you feel good. <laughs> well, of course they'll make you feel better later, but like in the moment it's just like, oh no. I don't want to try to do this stage again. Like, I've got to give it like one or two tries to get the S rank on this stage. But like, this stage was really awkward last time we were doing the stream, but I think I might be better at it now. Uh... Also, I hope Dark Cloud 2 has a fishing mini game. I'll be really sad if it doesn't, because I think it doesn't have city building, which means it might not have fishing. Ah yeah, it's this stage. I remember this stage now. This stage was awkward. Did I seriously just miss that? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You can push it anywhere that lets you uh, eat the pond in to catch things. Though the sewer gives you mainly trash and iron pipe. Uh, that is a nod to the original near games. Interesting. Should probably play Dragon Guard at some point. Like I hear really good things about it. Like, a bunch of people have recommended me Dragon Guard before, but like, I've just never bothered to like, go into it. I've seen some of the lore and stuff and it's kind of cool, but I barely know anything about the actual game itself. Oh? Uh, oh, I didn't see the spikes, no! <laughs> Also, I missed a uh, speed boost ring that could have been a shortcut along the way, so it's fine, we're just gonna do this again. Uh, you're looking forward to the new Hogwarts MC game? Yeah! 
like I've heard a bunch of people being hype about it. I haven't really put much thought about it into it because like uh, being a trans person, I don't really want to give uh, uh, what's her face money. I forgot her name. Uh, the turf lady who writes. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Oh, you're kidding! I missed it. Okay, I can do this. Like, not to get, like, super political on my stream, but, like, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable really, like, giving her any money. <laughs> Which sucks, because I actually really enjoyed uh, Harry Potter, like, as a kid. Growing up, like, the movies were really good. Yes! Oh, I remember this section now. Yeah, I, uh, we played this level last stream, and I think I got like one second off of an S rank last time we played this. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally one second. Uh, I've seen gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, non lethal magic, right? Totally didn't yeet an explosive barrel at the target. <laughs> Yeah, like, uh, what was it? Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the PlayStation 1. Apparently you have non-lethal magic. Meanwhile, you're like shooting explosives and stuff and like throw people back at things. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, it's just a simple like disarming spell. Bruh, I'm pretty sure I just like killed that kid. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. I got this, I can do this. She's not involved in Hogwarts Legacy. She might not be involved in it, but she will still be getting royalties from it because she still owns the franchise. I keep on hearing this as an excuse, like, oh no, she has like little involvement in the development. It's like, that doesn't really matter. She's still like uh, getting revenue from the game. So long as it has the name uh, Harry Potter on it, she's getting revenue from it. I missed the ring. Okay, I can do this. I can absolutely do this. <laughs> I got this. Mew. Batman doesn't kill people. Cute gameplay for Mark of Messiah kicking someone of their neck snaps. <laughs> yeah. Batman doesn't use lethal force. He just puts people in hospital permanently. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep missing it. He still gets royalties from anything Harry Potter, yeah. Oh yeah, and also yeah, the anti-Semitic parts of Harry Potter, like don't even get me started on that, like... <laughs> the heckin' bank, like what was even up with that? Uh... Can I get this ring? Yes, okay. Oh, come on. That's fine. You know what? It's fine. I'm sure this way is somehow faster. Hope it's faster at least. Because <laughs> I kind of need the speed. Okay, I think we're here late, which means that we might not be able to finish in time for an S rank. I think we've got like 30 seconds to get to the end of the level. Oh, come on. The homing attack didn't work. <laughs> I got so close there. Okay. One more try and then I'm moving on to a different level. Uh... Don't pay, don't pirate, don't play. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, no. Never mind. We'll do this stage another time. <laughs> Let's just get this Chaos Emerald. That's fair. If you want to uh, play for it, that's like, uh, fine. But like, personally, I'm not going near a barge pole. <laughs> 
Okay, so Chaos Emerald is way out there. I just realized when we were doing fishing, I completely forgot the entire point of why I was doing fishing. I was trying to get the uh, the fast travel scroll. Barge pole. Uh, oh, geez, this is like a British term that the Americans won't uh, know, is it? Uh, barge pole. Uh, a long pole used to propel a barge and to fend off obstacles. Uh, that's not very helpful, but uh, here we go. Uh, oh. Let me get this on screen for people so you get like a, I guess like a example of what I'm referring to here. This is a barge pole. It's like one of these things. Oh, I just realised if I move over here you could see Bella. Oop. It's a big rod you use to clear trash out of a canal and push a boat along if you don't have an engine. Yeah. Yeah, you're French. I didn't realise it was French. So actually, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Because you've got like the canal boats that they use with sticks with and stuff. Ah, heck. Uh... How long is it? It's like a couple meters, isn't it? I can't remember. They're long anyway. <laughs> like, actually, I think the 10 foot pole, like, uh, if anyone here is like, uh, knowing about like, uh, classic d and I think a 10 foot pole is a barge pole, basically. <laughs> Also, heck yes, we have a lot of defense now. We literally doubled our defense stat. Uh... Oh, let's quickly do this thing before we go over there. Get some more map. Nah, I messed up. Um, nope. Nah. Okay, how am I doing this? So we go along here. And like this. And then... There we go. Okay, done it. Yeah, the classic I check for traps lines. Yeah, I, I uh, grab my 10-foot uh, pole and I tap every single panel on the floor and every single panel on the wall to check for traps. I poke the chest to check for traps. Uh... <laughs> Oh, the other fun one is I take my flask of water and I pour water on the uh, the slabs on the ground to see if it seeps into any of the slabs in between the cracks. Because if it does, that's a trap. <laughs> what about the ceiling? No one ever thinks to look at the ceiling. <laughs> Which adventuring party do you know of that thinks to look up? <laughs> like, in general, like... <laughs> Humans are really bad for not looking up for dangers. Like, if you play any video game, like online multiplayer, a really good way to avoid getting spotted if you're trying to be stealthy, just find a high place. No one will look for you. <laughs> You'll be basically invisible. Rollers 19, you see no traps. And treasures. You'd be right at home here, Nux. And yeah, you can technically use it as a weapon, because it could be used as a... Uh... Uh, a quarter staff, but it probably wouldn't be very good for one because they're usually flexible. Uh, so it would probably bend and snap really easily. It's actually a buck and a quarter, uh, quarter staff, but I ain't telling him that. Hello, Oyabun Kyubi. Hello, hoi hoi. How are you? Thank you for the follow. Yep, yep. It's Seri. Seri, sorry, I recognise the name. Were you here on the uh, stream yesterday? I think. Uh, I think I remember you for being here on the second yesterday stream. I don't know. I recognize the name anyway. <laughs> you come for cute Lunator for cheek smooches and snuggles. Yee! Oh, that reminds me. 
I don't know if you're still here, Harlock, but you were saying before about my previous model not having like cheek puff effects, because like I rigged on my V4 model the ability to like cheek puffing, but for some reason it just wouldn't work. And this model, however, ignore the fact I'm lagging for a second. I managed to. <laughs> Thank goodness someone uh, did. Also, ha, you're all too. <laughs> New model, same Luna. Yeah. Also, hello, Jade. Oi, oi. Okay, so we need more bolt keys. Uh, we could just do some more fishing for them. We could find some more levels. I think I just want to find some more levels. Uh, maybe this will unlock some more levels. Oh, I haven't seen these rings be used like this before. They're usually like vertical. Oh, I missed. I jumped too high. Perfect. I haven't called you yes was meaning to cause uh, the Luna is a sweet bold. Yee! <laughs> you sexy look. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to be the first one to say that, but like, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh, once on DM, I had a sliding wall that was 10 foot tall, 10 foot wide. Had a... Uh, 10 foot thick so so is uh, stone only to regret it because we had a candlestick that shrinks things shrunk the wall put it in a time stop bag of holding before a spell ran out then later when fighting a minotaur boss threw the rock between his legs in a seven foot room that's the most evil thing i can imagine that's amazing <laughs> never mind being gay luna hot topic shirt when oh geez <laughs> i should totally make some Jade the gay lizard. <laughs> you excited for the new One Piece Odyssey game? I didn't know they made uh, One Piece video games. Also, why are they still bothering looking for One Piece when they can go to KFC and get a six piece really cheaply? <laughs> or something like that, I can't remember the meme. Bonk. Uh... They're mostly fighting games, actually pretty good. Oh, it's weird how many like uh, shonen anime games are getting like fighting games recently. Because you've got like Jojo, Dragon Ball, uh, One Punch, not One Punch Man, uh, <laughs> One Piece. They're all, there's almost more One Piece games than there is Dragon Ball Z fighting games. Amazing, I never saw one. Or oh, McDonald's for a six piece chicken McNugget. <laughs> Uh, Boku no Hero Academia has one? Amazing! Uh, there's three One Punch Man games? How have I never, like, heard of this? <laughs> like, sometimes I feel like I live under a rock, and then I'm like, nah, I, I know my stuff. I'm like up with like the uh, new and coming things. I'm hip, right? And then like stuff like that ha like comes out of the woodworks. So it's like, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> you stray from the path. Turn back. Complete your mission. Screw you, lady. You're literally the antagonist. Your evil voice in the sky who's threatening to kill everyone. Why are you telling me this? Me, the fighting gay. I'm actually very fragile. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord, that's a mood. Ranny boys, fuck off. <laughs> okay, uh... So we just need to find more portals. Have we found any more portals? Well, that's the yellow chaos emerald. We already got that. There's that dude. There's a map fragment here. Uh, let's get this map fragment. Oh, if I could mark it correctly. Boop. Uh, reach us over to give Jade head pads with a padded mitt. <laughs> yeah, you need to be careful giving them head pads or you'll uh, cause enough bludgeoning damage to make them faint. Unfortunately, they are a wizard. They only have a default hit point. 
guys to pull that bad pat damage. Uh, Horde of Fans comes out and takes out in 250 hits, whoever hurts the gay lizard. <laughs> You're an NPC, remember? Yeah, but you have like levels in uh, Wizard, right? <laughs> Otherwise you would have more hit points. We found some more stuff and we got another map unlock. Okay, let's grab this and let's go continue unlocking more map. I'm sure one of these will end up having a level stuck behind it so we can get some more keys. No levels in wizard. All my levels are in lizard. Oh no, give me back my chaos emeralds. Get back here. I need that. Nope. Oh no, you don't. Oh, heck off. Okay, just gotta wait for it to be confused and then dead. Give me that Chaos Emerald back. How dare you? <laughs> what are you doing? And what are you doing with my jewels? <laughs> Your Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> What do you mean, your emeralds? <laughs> Is that enough? I broke a thousand! Razor's Chainsword, Theft of Shinies is punishable by death. <laughs> Bandai Namco revealed battle system details and screenshots for an upcoming JRPG One Piece Odyssey. Oh! Are you quite done? The <laughs> uh, new game features a turn-based combat system and allows to take individual control of a straw hat pirate in action. Oh. Oh heck, that sounds cool. Oh, Wuna snack. What have we got here? Another diamond. <laughs> the last one was a diamond as well. You could do that 1,000 times with how many points you have. Please don't. <laughs> it's funny once or twice, but like, oh jeez. <laughs> ah, I lost my train of thought. No wait, I got it back. I, I got back on my train of thought. Our uh, diamonds hard, rock, hard candy for cobbles, basically. <laughs> yeah, my train of thought was a... Uh... Oh jeez. Can brain. My brain is totally capable of doing thinking. That is something I can do. Oh yeah, there was a fighting game, uh, quote unquote, which I played beforehand. It was a tactical role-playing game they with like fighting game something. sections. <laughs> They're always up to something. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Fuck, that pun is awful and you should feel bad. <laughs> But yeah, there was a game on the 3DS, which was a... It was a tactical role-playing game, fighting game. I say fighting game in quotation marks, because the fighting game aspects were automated. So you'd have all your characters on those. You had like uh, characters like uh, Morrigan and like uh, Ryu and a bunch of other characters. And those are like a like, franchise of fighting games. Uh, and you moved them about on like a grid-based uh, thing uh, to like fight each other. And then the sections where they fight each other were automated. I wish those sections were actual combat. I would love a role-playing game where I just rush into an enemy and then it goes into a 2D fighting game. 
Why does nobody do that? It's such a great idea. Like, I understand it's clunky and might feel weird for some people who are used to fighting games and some people are used to role-playing games, but Did it's you know so the good. It isn't good for kobolds. It isn't good for humans too, but they don't care either. <laughs> I don't like elevators, so I'm taking steps to avoid them. That pun is terrible. Also, yeah, you have a point there with the chocolate. However, I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> But like legit, I lactose intolerant. Uh, chocolate is not good for me. I can have lacto-free chocolate though, but like I can't have the uh, uh, chocolate. That's the point. How many lactose intolerant cobbles do I know? It's this chemical plant. Hold up, this is chemical plant. I didn't know chemical plant was in this game. The music's wrong, but it, it's definitely chemical plant. Okay, we've missed one of the red rings. Is it back here? Nah, we're not getting the other ring. Okay, we'll get the ring on the second way through. Music is unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> I like this music, but it's not chemical plant. Uh, wait, I'm lactose intolerant. Does that mean you're a kobold? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm sorry. If you're lactose intolerant, you're a kobold. I don't make the rules. <laughs> But like every kobold I know is either lactose intolerant or doesn't drink milk. So I think I'm onto something here. So it's not that we can't have uh, chocolate, we can't have milk. <laughs> Why do crabs not give to charity? Because they are shellfish. Oh god, how many of these do you have, Buck? Like, legit, keep them coming. They're amazing, but also, heck you, they're terrible. <laughs> A bunch of your diet is cheese, okay. Jade, you're an oddity. <laughs> Turns out that Jade is secretly just a really short dragon, uh, uh, dragonborn. <laughs> yeah, your flatmate's secretly a cobble. You are also four cobbles and love cheeses. <laughs> yeah, I regret to inform you, if you're a cobble who enjoys cheese, you're not a cobble. You're a very short dragonborn. <laughs> Okay, S rank is only a minute 30. I can absolutely do that. That shouldn't be that difficult. Ah, heck. Hold up. Uh, is there a faster method to get across that? Because I'm pretty sure the red ring is going to be here. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it's been so long since I heard that one. I had a friend at school who used to say that joke fairly regularly. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I love it. Wait a second. I recognize this space. Where's that red ring? There it is. No, wait, that isn't it. Hold up. Where the heck is the first red ring? You're 18 different people in one meat pick. Maybe it's not a cobbles but allowed cheese. Maybe it's the bunny or the fox or the protege or snake. The told you I was going deaf. The news was very hard to hear. <laughs> oh wait, I see it. I found it. It's fair. Okay, we just gotta get to the end of the level. I don't think we're going to be getting hold of the, uh, the S rank, but I'm going to try my best. But ye, uh, oh yeah, but I'm guessing you're a plural. Uh, just based on that, if not, like, I'm, I'm mistaken, Ken, but like, I don't know. There's a couple people who uh, joined my chat who are plurals. Ye! Uh, oh Jesus. That section right there is really cool, but it's also really awkward to jump across. <laughs> it's amazing how they managed to replicate so much of like uh, the old chemical plant levels in this uh, level. Oh geez. Can I get up here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, here's why I recognize you from Jade and Yumi's channels. Yee! Oh. 
a heck. Oh, some of these jumps are going to be really hard to do for getting S rank. I'm just realizing this now. I don't think we're going to get an S rank on this level. A minute 30 having to do jumps like that is going to be really painful. I used to hate facial hair. Then it grew on me. <laughs> missiles! Snail missiles. It's missiles. You know what, let's back out of cyberspace. Do we have enough keys to at least get the, uh, the Chaos Emerald? Do we? Please? Maybe? There's two ke uh, vault keys, okay. Ah, uh, we need more. How many more do we need? We need two more. We can get the 190 rings at least, and we can get the last key from fishing. Snail missiles. Are they missiles made of snails, or do they move a snail pace? Neither. They're missiles made by snails for snails. <laughs> Anti snail missile. Why does heaven have a gate? Because people were dying to get in. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I've lost the ability to can. Buck, what the heck? Where are you getting these from? These puns are dealing psychic damage. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> like each one is like an entire D8 of psychic damage. Uh, how many rings do I need for the S rank? Does it say? No, I can't see. Okay. That sucks. Oh, no. Okay, let's wait for those bubbles to move. There we go. Okay, got them. Wait, there's rings back there. Uh, is it safe to go down here? It is. Okay. Almost. <laughs> I almost died. Right. Uh... Oh heck. This ten what ring up here. No idea. Huh. <laughs> but what do you call a uh, blind deer with no legs? Still no idea. <laughs> Sonic.exe would be good for this game. I think there is a mod for that. There is. I think there is a mod that allows you to play as uh, uh, Sonic.exe as a playable character. Like it's just a reskin, but like still. Uh, not sure why all the best got added. Yee! No! No! Uh, we might still be able to do it. I was so distracted, like... Ah... <laughs> uh, these puns are great, but also pretty distracting. Don't stop, keep going with them, legit, but like... I was trying to read that last one, I was like, what the heck did you just say with that one last one? It was like, oh no, <laughs> suddenly lost all my rings. <laughs> Every one of Pootie's tricks involved a trap door of the stage he was going for. <laughs> Your favourite joke, yeah. Uh, are there any rings hidden down here? I really hope so, because we're really close to the end of the level. There's a 10 ring. Okay, so we needed 190 rings. There's 120. There's a lot of rings on this stage. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, you're kidding me. It's fine. Uh, we didn't actually lose that many rings. For some reason, these ones respawned. What do elves learn in kindergarten? The alphabet. The alphabet. That one actually dealt psychic damage. That was terrible. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, you know what? It's fine. We'll just try again. 
190 rings. This is not a pun. If a barber shaves every man who not shave himself, does the barber shave himself? Uh, what? <laughs> what? I I don't think I understand. Uh Barber not shave himself. Um, I mean, I, I guess. Does the barber shave himself? Oh, geez, it's uh, it's having to learn about the uh, the sentence is not uh, the the sentence is false again. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. I'm afraid for the calendar. It's days are numbered. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me of a favorite joke from, uh, oh, was it Akatsuko? Just, uh, when, uh, Ton is just like, I'm gonna start calling you Calendar, because your days here are numbered! <laughs> it's just great. It's so stupid, but it's great. Ooh, is there any rings up here? How do I get up there? Hey, there we go. Secret rings? I should start doing lunges to stay in shape. It would be a big step forward. Oh my god. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I took an entire like a d20 of like psychic damage on that last one. <laughs> they're no longer d8s, they're full d20s. <laughs> like, how are you getting so many of these jokes? Is it because, like, are you a dad IRL belk? That's the only way I can justify how you have so many jokes in your in my head. Like, <laughs> no one without kids has this many dad jokes. Panda Man got creepy in later iterations. Weird. Buck is a dad at heart. <laughs> Oh no, we missed that 10 ring. No, 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 no. Oh, it's fine. There's a lot more rings where that one came from. But oof. I could have really have done with the hat. Okay, we're almost there. We just need another 37, I think. Is it 37? I think we need 37 rings. 10. Uh, please don't be the ending. I am to say it to be a dad because I never could. Wow. Yes, exactly 190. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, heck this stage. We're going to go do fishing. <laughs> We're going to just like fish for one singular key and get the Chaos Emerald. Panda Man ages rapidly through the year, dies at the end of the year, but gets reborn of a new year out of the husk. That's really heckin' cool. That's badass. Like, I can see what you mean saying that's really creepy, but like, that's really heckin' cool. <laughs> Uh, where's the fishing mini game? I can't remember. Where's Big? Uh, fishing spot, fishing spot, fishing spot, fishing spot. Okay, so we need to go that way. Panda Man was also a killer. Of course he was. What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing. It just waved. Wow. <laughs> I never thought that we'd be finishing off uh, Sonic Frontiers on a massive pun train. Yet here we are. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I don't want to go that way. I was hoping it would be some drops, but nope, it was a spring. 
That building's cool. Uh, well, yeah, he was a serial killer that killed on uh, various important calendar days. Huh. Oh, please stop making me run forwards. I want to go this way. Let me guess, this is speed boost? Yeah. Uh, Buck is the god of jokes in the sky. <laughs> Buck is a chaos god. Confirmed. Okay, where's the bridge? There's the bridge. We don't need the bridge, though, but yeah, we need to go this way. Uh, almost there. Oh, geez, I didn't realize how far away that is. Like, this map is massive. Buck is Loki, good at joking. <laughs> Yay. Oh, excuse me, I suddenly have hiccups. <laughs> Where's your flamer? The heavy flamer. Uh, there's the fishing spot. Okay, let's go do some fishing. I think after that pun uh, streak, we need uh, just a nice fishing trip to relax. What does Sonic eat before I run? Nothing. He fasts. Hey, Sonic. Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> it took me a moment. <laughs> Would you like to try? I was like, what do you mean he fasts? Oh, run. right, he fasts. <laughs> Excuse me, my two brain cells couldn't comprehend that joke for like the entire five seconds. Oh, heck, I missed it. I wasn't expecting the triple ring. Is not something usually chili chowder on chili dogs? He hasn't eaten chili dogs in like any pieces of Sonic media in ages. Like, the last time I've seen Sonic eat a chili dog was, like, uh, Sonic Underground? Bonk, bonk, bonk! The Sonic movies! Oh yeah, he does it in the Sonic movies, I forgot about that. Oh, a golden card, okay. Nice. Uh, what can I do with the golden card? I forgot it. I think it's, like, one free redeem, isn't it? Uh, the night game had for him meet one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's in Sonic Boom as well. I Ghost, I'm a trees. fake Sonic they fan. <laughs> I missed all of these. Does he eat one in Generations? I barely play Generations, I'm not gonna lie. Would you like to try? Okay, let's get an egg memo. Uh, grab one key, a couple more of these, and then spend the rest on this. And the last one go on. Nothing will keep him. Like uh, Generations had him eat one, you think? He. He got a golden ticket to the chocolate factory. Weird, the chocolate factory is full of fish. <laughs> okay, let's get the blue chaos emerald. Technically, Supersonic and Hyper Knuckles are weaker than Ultra Tails. Ultra Tails is a thing? I knew about uh, Hyper Knuckles, but I've never seen Ultra Tails. Also, jeez. Not that I can run far. Uh, do we have fast travel? If I go to, like, through this, do we have fast travel to Hermit Cocos? Not yet. No. Okay. Yeah, we didn't get a scroll for it. That's an oof. Is this just Autistic Sonic info dumping stream tonight? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you joined in for a Lunar Sonic stream and didn't expect it to be full of a bunch of useless Sonic information, oh boy, are you in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Big says he'll let you borrow his rod, but he's still holding it. Sonic's uh, using a spare. Yeah, I think they end up like, uh answering that uh, like thing because like uh, Big has like a spare fishing rod it's like an old one that he lets you use it oh this should be easy yeah it's just the jump rope thing uh oh heck okay apparently I'm bad at jump rope oh this one's more difficult than the other one 
Ah, heck. Uh, Ultra Tales is every single Tales through the multiverse merged into one character. Oh, jeez. I really need to watch uh, Sonic uh, Prime at some point. It looks really good, and I just keep putting it off. What happened there? Excuse me. I thought I had that. Ah, uh, this is difficult. I thought this would be easy. This is actually kind of tricky. Wait, I just remembered. What difficulty? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to jump over the rope? You want me to individually jump every time over the rope? I'm sorry, did you not understand? I'm Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra Tails looks exactly like Tails does, just with four birdies flying around him like an atom. That's heckin' cool. Oh, there's another one of these doors. I wonder if I'm gonna get another pinball stage. Once it's actually going in the right direction. Oh heck, when you run in the ocean. Uh, but yeah, didn't you guys know that? You can fly in this game. If you block midair, you don't touch the ground, you just stay in midair. This is without physics mods. Uh, I t disabled my physics mods because they were causing me issues in the, uh, the levels. Uh, without physics mods, you can just do this. Forever. It's really stupid. This is gonna be a spring, isn't it? Yep, called it. Wait, there's another fishing spot? Hold up. There's two entire fishing spots in this place. Hey, Bill, how come your mom lets you have two fishing spots? There is a rumor going around about butter, but I'm not going to spread it. <laughs> if Sonic has the shits, it would come out at the same speed he runs. You're right, but you shouldn't say it. <laughs> also, you're hungry for chili dogs now? I want to make chili dogs at some point. Like, I know how to make chili. I can make hot dogs. Hot dogs are super easy. Making chili dogs is probably not that difficult, right? Also, heck, I hecked up real bad. <laughs> this is taking forever. <laughs> what is gravity? I don't think it exists in this game. <laughs> yeah, how hard could it be, right? Like, I can make pretty good chili, so like making chili dogs isn't that big of a leap. Preparations are not complete. Continue exploring. What? Oh, we need 20 more to be able to talk to her, okay. I look forward to seeing the aftermath mess. <laughs> you should see whenever I make tacos. <laughs> it tastes great, but it's just really messy. <laughs> ha, we got that dang fourth Chaos Emerald. Wait, it's the fifth one. We've got that dang fifth Chaos Emerald. Okay, so we need to get this one, but we need three more keys to get that. We do, however, have some levels we haven't been to yet. Where are we on the map? I'm reading a book on anti-gravity. It's hard to put down. For fuck's sake, Buck. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't even Buck, that was Kedge. I'm sorry, Buck. <laughs> there was a thing in Devil May Cry 1 where you could just float up indefinitely. I don't think it's a thing in the HD collection, huh? But yeah, I think we need to unlock some more map, because we need another, like, level to get free keys. Uh, speaking of more map, there's more map here. How do I do this? Do I just, like, do this? Okay, that's weird. Uh... I was told to say grace before I eat my salad, so let us pray. 
<laughs> Let us pray. Terrible. <laughs> like, this entire stream has just been, like, awful puns and sonic facts, and I am 100% here for it. How do I get that ball through the bottom one? Do I need to stand further back? No. Oh, I can headbutt it. Can I just, like, bonk? Does this work? Oh, come on. Get in the heckin' hoop! Get right there, please! Don't do this to me! <laughs> Let us pray of all things. Terrible. <laughs> Oblivion has paintbrushes that defy gravity. Yeah, but it's a Bethesda game, so that's actually normal. That's working as intended, it's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> the, the seed dropping after was like two seconds later. Oh, that's a ghost. A on hypnotism. It really changed the way I think. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> you have to be careful with those. Oh. Leads in. It just works. Ah, oh, God Howard, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> Wait a second, I just realised there's a token up here. We actually need these. Right, where's this map unlock? Oh, there's another one of these things. We need to build this. So I think we need to put the yellow one down first. Oh no, go other way. Other way, this way. Right, yellow goes down first. Speaking of bug fester, going to play some uh, TTW? What's TTW? Uh, which one should go in next? I think the next one is... Blue? No, blue doesn't go in next. Uh, purple then blue. No, purple then black. Then blue. It just works, it just works, little lies, stunning shows, people buy money flows, it just works. I, I forgot the rhythm to that, I forgot the melody to that song, I am so sorry, that was terrible. I haven't heard that in ages, <laughs> it's a great song. I guess the guy missed the punchline. Uh, gotta do an over encumbered walk back to Megatron. <laughs> Oh boy, good luck on that. Uh, <laughs> your favourite song by those people, yee! Like, it's that one and uh, the Valve one. Yeah, the Valve one as well, yeah. <laughs> We've both got the same, like, uh, thought on that. Uh, like, uh, the Valve one and the Bethesda one are the best ones of those songs. Uh, count to three. Uh, pass. Uh, dare. Um, uh, give me a hint, uh, <laughs> one, two, <laughs> wait, hold up, just, oh yeah, uh, one, ten, eleven. <laughs> oh wait, we found a level, but we need another key. Okay, we need one uh, portal key. Where are we going to get the portal key? Did we get the portal key by fishing? I think we get the portal key by fishing. Uh, <laughs> legit, I think that might be the best way to get it because portal keys are so random to get hold of because you get them from like enemy drops just like randomly. There's no rhyme or reason to it. They just sometimes happen. Oh. I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. Oh my god. One, two, five, four, me count so <laughs> Awful. Wait, what is this thing? What the heck is this? I found a puzzle. Okay, so we got a laser beam. Does a laser beam hurt me? No, laser beam's fine. 
Okay, so that one's pointing in the right direction. And we want this one to go like way over this way. And then this one needs to go a little bit further this way. And then this one. Oh, nope, further up. One, two, nine, ten, I lost count again. Four, five, six, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> One and two and Alex. No, no, you got it wrong. It's one, two, one, one, no, one, two, two, one, two, two, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> what was in here? Oh, heck, I will do a hydrate. Bad puns and autistic Sonic info dumping. You know what? You're not wrong. I absolutely now have a stream title. <laughs> yep, it let me have it as a stream title. <laughs> Let's go. I was worried it'd be like, no, autistic is a bad word. It's offensive to people with autism. I was like, bitch, I am autistic. <laughs> My waiter asked if I wanted a box for my leftovers. I told him no, but I wrestle him if for I them. Those wow. Correctly, the ancients came from space, right? And they were wearing things that looked like the cocoa, but they didn't seem, I don't know, alive. Do you know what the cocoa really are? Mm -hmm. They originated as lucky charms for the ancients. They were never designed to contain their data, their wills. Yeah, but the cocoa I've found do hold the memories of their creators. Maybe the ancients changed them. Or maybe the cocoa wanted to keep their memories alive after they were gone. Hmm. Also, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure, like, if you're, like, watching my streams, like, I, this probably doesn't go for all of you, but, like, a fair portion of you do, <laughs> I do, do agree, are probably somewhere on the spectrum. <laughs> Uh, oh jeez, laser beams. Got a heckin' Mission Impossible over here. Yeah. <laughs> you know you are, I know I am. Uh, I know like, the uh, Jade, you're like ADHD. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's like very few neurotypical uh, people who watch my streams. <laughs> That's just a fact. Honestly, with how large the spectrum is, both diagnosed and undiagnosed, I'm pretty sure at least 50% of people would be on the spectrum and growing as they find a new ways to test for it. To be honest, you're probably right. Like, uh, autism used to have like a really like strict way of like the determining whether or not you're autistic, and it has been broadened over time because they're just like, oh wow, a bunch of people's brains are just wired weird and like differently to other people. That's just, like. We didn't realize how many people are actually like this. I asked a friend if he was on the spectrum. He told me, of course, somewhere below ultraviolet, obviously. Oh my god. Is that original? Because that is like, amazing. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I love that one. That one's great. <laughs> Yes, you came over that one right now. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Alright, that didn't take me to where I wanted to go. I wanted to get that memory token right there. That was a mistake. Um, <laughs> that's why I don't understand why autism and autistic are considered bad and disrespectful. Because it's just like, cool, let me put someone down for being a part of a majority. <laughs> Wow. But yeah, I, I've never really understood why people like use autistic as like a offensive uh, term because it's just like there's so many positive traits of being autistic. There's, there's some negative ones as well. Like I have to admit there are some downsides to being autistic, but there's also like a bunch of upsides. The, the flip side can be said for neurotypical as well. 
Yeah, jerks use it as a slur. It's just, it's stupid. <laughs> but like, I don't know, there's those like benefits to being neurotypical and neurodiverse. So now I know how to do this boss, like, it's so much easier. <laughs> because last time we were doing this boss, my, uh, one of my buttons stopped working and I couldn't, uh, use homing attack anymore. It was so much more difficult. Bonk! Okay, time to wreck this thing. Oh, heck. Darn it. Okay. Get some of these rings. Can I parry these? We'll never know. Okay, phase two. Okay, oh jeez. Uh, the thing uh, doesn't even look like a caterpillar. I know, right? It looks more like uh, one of those like gummy slugs. I don't mean like a gummy uh, of a slug. I mean there's like a slug variety, but it looks like a fruit gummy. I shared one in my uh, Discord recently. <laughs> They're really adorable, but they look so silly. Oh, the heck. Okay, it looks like a horseshoe crab. You're right, actually, it does. Also, we got the we got a cog. Okay, we we're gonna go do fishing to get this cog, but we don't have to anymore. Uh, we're just gonna go over there. Also, how do I miss this challenge right here? Yeah, let's go do one more level. Uh, nope, we've already done that level. It's over here. Ew. Okay, monk. Uh, looks like that was your last one for a bit. Oh no! <laughs> Did you run out of points? Uh, I uh, get that part, Jane. I mean, if the jerks really thought about it, it's like, oh, I'm so cool for using this slur, but really, uh, that applies for probably everyone, even most of my friends. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, as far as, like, uh, being a jerk goes, I think using a disability as an insult is, like, really, like, low down there on, like, the worst of the things you could possibly use as an insult for someone. It's just, it's not okay. <laughs> I just don't understand, the, like, the kind of force that goes through someone's heads to be, like, Oh yeah, like, I'm absolutely just gonna call this person, like, autistic, or like, uh, other, like, stuff, like, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. I don't particularly want to think of, uh, insults using disabilities, but they you get what I mean. Oh! Accidentally cancelled midway through. Uh, my friend asked me to stop giving him random triceratop facts, I guess he was dinosaur. Uh, it says more about the person uh, using it that way than the person they're targeting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, does it make it hurt less or some of a shame it still though? Yeah. How do I open that door? Because like, I've been over there already. We've, we've been to that level before. How do I get over? Oh, right, just jump over it. Of course, I'm, I have jumping mechanics. I don't need to pay attention to no door. I can just jump over it. What did that do? Wait, there's stuff hidden down here? There's a button hindered underneath here. What? <laughs> there were just hidden platforms underneath here. I'll take those, thank you very much. 
I bet it just throws you back here. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's fine. Get it back is easy. Uh, is there like a secret button on top of here to open this door? Or is this just the way you do it? I think it's just the way you do it. Interesting. Okay. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but that was terrible. <laughs> Okay, Buckhead, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, there's one more key. Uh, here's a level. Ooh. Okay, we got one more level unlocked. I'm probably going to do uh, this last level, then we'll go find someone to go raid. So if you have a raid target in mind, so someone you want us to send our community at, Remember, we do have a redeem for uh, doing a raid target. Because, uh, like, I have no idea how we're going to go raid. I'll, like, look someone up afterwards if no one redeems it. But, like, yeah. Uh, there is an option for, like, being able to pick someone specific you want to go show some love at. Uh, the only friend you have online at the moment is Alice Alucard BT. Recognize that name. I think I've raided them before. Pico Park. Never heard of that game. This level's cool. I can't think what it reminds me of, but this is cool. Wait, this is jogging some kind of memory. I think I recognise the stage. What the heck? Can I still get up there? I really want that red ring. Can I have a red ring, please? Thank you very much. Uh... I would say J Raid Jade, but they're no uh, streaming. Yeah, also they stream on uh, YouTube, so we can't raid them. <laughs> I mean, we could raid them, technically, but it wouldn't be like a proper raid. I would just be like, oh yeah, go like go to this random YouTube channel and like watch this video. <laughs> uh, raid with uh, Romance. Uh, oh. Again, probably to make this fair, uh, we do have a redeem for it. So, like, first one to get the redeem gets it. <laughs> Heck, there's still people playing, uh, playing Bug Snacks. Like, I want the uh, most of a playthrough of that game through. Uh, uh, who's that bear v the VTuber? The, the bee bear VTuber. What was his name? I can't remember. You don't have enough points, Uru. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so let's boot up Twitch and see who's streaming. Uh, absolutely not going to take any uh, advice from Twitch. Like, there's, there's a chat, I have no idea what you're talking about. Let's have a look at Weird Romance a second. And who was the other person? Oh, I can't scroll up for some reason. Alice Alucard. We have a bird VTuber and we have a demon girl by the looks of it. Alternatively, anyone else currently streaming who I would want to go raid and watch their content? Also, I've got this really annoying thing at the moment. Uh, I just opened up both their Twitch channels. They've both got the same advert playing at the same time. It's just like overlaid, slightly delayed, one behind the other, and I can't skip it because it's Twitch. <laughs> it's just ugh. Oh. Uh, okay, so yeah, I think we'll go raid Weird Romance. I kind of like the character. <laughs> uh oh, wait! Someone guided the raid. Someone guided the raid to XD. Who is XD? <laughs> Do you want me to refund that or? All right, you wanted to raid Alice. Okay, <laughs> that was a typo. Slash raid Alice Alucard. Yeah, we'll go raid Alice then. So yeah, if you want to join the community, we have a link tree, which will send you to all my social links, my YouTube, my Discord, my Twitter, all the bad stuff. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, the Discord is very comfy. You can get notifications when I go live on there if you give yourself the role for stream alerts. Uh, you can also get that from my Twitter. My YouTube will always have all my videos on demand on there. And my Kofi, if you don't want to support the channel through Twitch, I understand. Uh, Kofi is an alternative if you want to go through that method. And yeah, uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some Dwarf Fortress at the same time. Good luck, have fun, I'll see you then.